Welcome everybody to our seventh episode of Minecraft Survival Let's Play. Today we are going to build a bubble column water elevator. But before we do that, I just wanted to give you a quick update what happened here in the village. So I added fence around most of the village and I thought this would look really cool with a lantern on top of it instead of the torches that we had. As you can see, I'm not finished yet, so there's no lanterns here and there's even some areas without some fence. But I think this looks really, really cool and I'm definitely gonna keep working on that off camera. Another thing is I picked up a second villager. So we have still our Mendy mending trading villager in this house. I picked up a second one which allowed us to breed. So we have quite a few villagers now. The really important ones, I kind of locked them in their house because some of them were disappearing sometimes. So I don't want that to happen. So we have a cartographer here where we hopefully can get a woodland mansion map soon. And I also locked in a few other ones in one of these houses just to make sure that they won't disappear. Another thing that I quickly wanted to do is to plant our bamboo. So we found our first bamboo uh, last episode when we raided the ocean monument and found a few shipwrecks. So I think we can just plant it here. I'm actually not sure if it needs water next to it or not. But I think we can just have this grow a little bit and then I guess we can just get the bamboo back and then just plant a few more. So we ran out of bone meal, but I think this is a really good start here. And my vision is or my plan is that we could make a really cool bamboo forest here on that side of the village. Picture this cool big bamboo forest over here. I think this would look really, really cool. So yeah, let's just plant them. Let's see if they grow. Let's see what happens. I hope they don't need water on the block next to it. Otherwise, these will probably won't grow. But I'm sure we'll figure that out soon enough. And then, of course, I have to do some fixing in the landscape here because creepers keep blowing holes in there. So I definitely have to do some fixing here. But in the end, I think maybe we can even add a little gate here, like a proper gate. These are obviously supposed to be our fences and I just used them to get out to because it's pretty convenient. However, maybe we can can put a gate even here. We can put a cool path throughout our jungle. And yeah, hopefully this will grow soon and we can take a look maybe next episode how it looks. But now let's move on to our main project of this episode. Also, if you enjoy the series, please consider subscribing. It only takes a second and you can turn the notification on to always stay up to date with our adventure and make sure you won't miss an episode. And don't forget to smash that like button. So I thought it would be really cool to have a water elevator here down to the stronghold. The reason for this is, so what I built a while ago to get down quick and easy is we have this little button here and if we press it, we will just go down falling on a slime block and basically where we'll end up is right here at the enchanting room. By the way, we made a change to the enchanting room, so you cannot see any bookshelves around the enchanting table anymore, but I added this redstone to make this kind of cool animation, or not animation, but transition from the bookshelves and to remove them. I added a little bit of redstone underneath and I added, a, I think, a three ticks delay between each of them just to make it nice and mechanic looking. I think this is pretty cool. Let me know what you think about that. Uh, maybe we can hook up this with some redstone as well, either that it lights up together with, with the books coming up or something like that. So let me know if you have a cool idea. But yeah, back to the elevator. So currently to get down, it is the slime block right here. And to get back up, we have this ladder. One reason I wanna make this elevator is because sometimes it's a bug or something like that where you don't hit the slime block and you just fall and take a whole bunch of fall damage and it's not really lit up so if we again go down 
if you see the after the first bounce the top is closed already and yeah you cannot see much so i thought why not do a bubble column elevator with some water and we can use the sea lanterns that we found in the ocean monument to light up the whole thing and i think this would be really really cool so i thought it would be cool if we can still use this block as a way to go down i'm not sure yet if we will remove the redstone or we will leave it but maybe we can have this one as a way we can go up so why i want to have them so close is then we can use some sea lanterns here and also under there and they would light up both elevators at the same time so maybe we can just dig down to see where we end up being but obviously it has to be very close to the slime block and yeah let me dig down here okay so we so the the slime block is here so here we will come down and then here we will have to go up so i'm trying to figure out how we can make a nice entrance of the elevator right here so maybe something like that we come here go down and then maybe we can go around the corner here and then we would be going up right here yeah i think that would work and i'm not sure yet how we so we will use the sea lanterns probably every fifth block or so or fourth maybe and i'm not sure yet what material to use for the other blocks but i think let's first get rid of this area so we know where to build it and then we can figure out what blocks we will actually use so i dug out this whole area and yeah i decided to move the redstone and we can go down now i went to the ocean monument to pick up more material like this prismarine and a few more sea lanterns just to make sure that we have enough to build that whole thing and we can start building it up so what we want to do here we will remove this in a second but i'll leave it there for orientation so this will be the one coming down and the one going up will be right here so we want to start off with this and then i think we will do some lantern i think that looks good and then what we want to do is we want to go prismarine break then we're gonna go with dark prismarine prismarine break and another lantern and then we will keep repeating this so let's see how it looks from the bottom i think this looks pretty cool and then here we're gonna go the same and then what we will also do is we will basically do the same thing right here and also right here but here we will probably start maybe around this height let's see i think starting from there this is good and then we'll do the same thing right so here will be the one um coming down so we will do the same thing uh sorry going up i mean and we'll do the same thing here all right we have built this whole thing so before we fill it with water i guess we have to remove the slime block here and i think we have to add one block over here all right let's go upstairs and add some water to this water elevator okay here we are this is how it looks from the top we have the one to go down here and the one to come up here so let's first do the one where we want to go down so i'm going to put the water here and then let's see how that looks from downstairs so currently the water is flowing out obviously but we have a door here and technically if we put the door here and then open it the water shouldn't be coming out there we go perfect and i chose a warped stem door so a warped stem from the nether i chose that door because i thought that fits super cool with the design of the prismarine we forgot to add it so there we go so now we have this one and as you can see i added a door here already because i practiced that earlier we have that so what we need now is we don't need flowing water here 
oh i threw the bucket okay never mind <laughs> um so we don't need flowing water because i believe that uh, that the magma and the, the bubbles basically are not going to work when there's flowing water so i think there is a trick to get that water flowing and i'll be right back so i picked up this kelp and apparently if you put kelp there apparently the water is not flowing anymore let's see if that works let's do it all the way i'm not sure if this is actually working but yeah we'll definitely try that all right so we're all the way up i'm not sure if it is still flowing let's see the whole thing from downstairs and if that worked then i think we can put the magma stone already and we're basically done with our elevator coming down this sure looks like it's still flowing okay so i'm not entirely sure if this is flowing or not it definitely looks like it's flowing but i guess we can just try and see what happens so let's put the magma here we definitely have the bubble so this looks like it's actually working let's quickly go up top to add the water to the other elevator all right let's add the water here and then i guess we can already take this one down let's see oh yes it's actually working guys this looks so cool so yeah this one is working now all we need to do is add the kelp on this one to make them solid i guess and then i think we're done so at least it's working i think we need to do a little more um decoration i would say just to make it look cooler but yeah i think once that's done i think we made some big progress um let's just take this one down again this is so convenient guys so let's quickly just break the kelp here and then we'll break this one we can add the soul sand and we have the bubble so let's see if this one is working oh this is perfect guys oh my god i love it so yeah so we have the two elevators not entirely sure why the bubbles are not starting from up here maybe we need to add another block or two of water but i think they're working obviously and that's for now good i would say so what i want to do next is just to add a little bit of flare of the same color here probably use the same combination of prismarine and the sea lanterns something like this maybe what do you guys think i think it looks pretty cool i think we need to add to the ceiling as well but i think and maybe a little door here I'm still debating on that um but i think this looks pretty cool so what i'm most excited about obviously is one how it looks but second that it's actually working this will make our life so much easier um, going up and down so i'm really pumped for that and i think once we add the ceiling we are good to go all right so i also added this on the outside to make the entrance area look really cool and i added some lighting on the ceiling but i think this looks really cool let me know what you think guys I'm excited to hear your thoughts in the comment and I guess the only thing that's left is to make this a little bit less looking like there is an elevator. So I wonder if we can either add some more water here and then maybe put a trapdoor on it or something like that. So I was thinking why not use this warp door because it fits well with the inside of the elevator. But I think to make it look better fitting in the outside environment um i think we should actually use these wooden trapdoors so let's see how that looks i think this fits much better and why not add a button on this one oh what the hell that's weird what okay this is not what i had expected but if we had a button here it would be pretty cool because we could just stand here open it and then i guess fall 
maybe we have to fix the button because yeah that definitely didn't work as planned and then here i guess we just need to make sure we hit the trapdoor while we're going up and then this works fine um yeah this i really need to fix but i guess we can just add some grass here to make this area not too obvious and yeah i think that completes our water elevator anyway thanks so much for watching this episode today i think what we built here is really really cool thanks so much for subscribing and don't forget to smash that like button and if you enjoy this content click the notification button so you won't miss next episode